And number 10, feel good about you. And I give an example here from someone they quote, uh, Breen Brown, and they say, you know, their quote is, if I feel good about my parenting, I've got no interest in judging other people's choices. If I feel good about my body, I don't go around making fun of other people's weight or appearance. And it says here, we're all hard on each other because we're using each other as a launching pad um, out of your own perceived deficiencies. And I think that is good. I think the happy you are about you know, yourself, your appearance, where you are in life, what your approach is to things, et cetera, et cetera. And the more comfortable you are about you and what you're doing and how you do things, the less you are looking at what other people do. And again, it's an outward, inward thing. If you're happy about it and you're confident in what you're doing, you're not worried about what other people think. And then the flip side of it is you're not then pushing that out onto other people. But I think the more, the more I suppose, insecure you are of yourself, that then gets projected out the other way as well. And it's again, you know, these these aren't easy things. These are constant things you need to be thinking about. But the more you can feel comfortable with what you're doing and just push ahead to doing something because you think it's the right thing to do, again, it pushes you to that that non-judgmental pace. And again, just talking through that, I can just imagine all the the wasted energy in that worrying about judgment and judging that you can, you know, you can get rid of if you work on this. I love that, by the way, because the other thing is that this is reminding me of a stoicism quite again. They all come back to me. Now you're doing this, it's really reminding me of stoicism. And the link between that mental health and the psychology of it is be strict with yourself, but consider it with others. I love that. So be strict with yourself and consider. So like for me, like, you know, I want to have this routine. I want to do these things, but actually, I want to I want to follow through on the promises that I make to myself to make me feel good about what I do and the things that I do. Right. So if I make myself a promise to say, "Hey, I'm going to eat healthier this week" or whatever, and I do it, I feel good about myself. But I'm not here. You know, if someone's if I see someone eating junk food and that, you know, and, and they come to me, say, "Oh, I'm eating a lot of junk food," it's like for me to be considerate of that person and not project that on other people because it's about me, not about them, and actually being considerate towards them um, and actually, you know, allowing people to go on their own path. And I think this whole thing about feeling good about yourself is for, for me, and this is my own personal perspective that I've, this is why I do this personal development stuff is that because of mental health and the issues I've had, the year I've had my mum, I do want to have a routine where I'm trying to get better. I am okay with myself. I feel good about who I am, but I just want to get that 1% better so then I can feel good. So when I go out there and say what you say about feel good about you, I can feel good about myself. And that means be more compassionate towards others. And that's something I'm still working on, being the judgment thing, like you said, because I still obviously have it because I've told you about it. But I think all this slots like a jigsaw into everything else that we've talked about. Um, so, yeah, again, nice one, Lee. I like that. Thank you. As someone, Ryan, Ryan, who's known for being confident about themselves, how do you feel on that one? I have got no idea what you're trying to say about me. That's an outrageous <laughs> accusation. That's staying in the podcast. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just aware of my own abilities. Yeah, I'm joking. Well, I'm joking. this is this is what it's saying. I mean, it's saying feel good about you. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. No, there. It, it, I two or three years ago, I would have agreed with the second part of what you said. Now, not so much. I I think you can you can be aware of how good you are, but not everybody else in the world has to be aware of how good you are. Like you can just you can let true. The, That's the proof. It. You can it let the proof. Thing. You can yeah. let the proof of what you do do all of the talking for you in my more recent history the more people that go on about how good they are the worse they actually are (laughs) very true yeah i think i think it's just really it's really easy and i think this topic's a pretty good one to kind of this will come out after the new year but to round off your yearly of not being judgmental i think this is a really good topic to have kind of touched on so it kind of looks full circle as to kind of just not being judgmental and not being deprecating of others based off of what you think they've said about you or perhaps what your interaction with them has led them to believe or or anything like that and i think it's i think it's just a really positive way to look at life and and just kind of you know giving people the benefit of the doubt we've all worked you know lower media and senior leadership roles we've all had to have conversations with people about how they're feeling people that report to us or we've had to talk about how we feel to the people that we report to and what's going on with us and any struggles we're having and any issues that we've got or any issues that they have depending on who you're talking to and you know it's it, we would if somebody in our team that we knew was having problems gave us a bit of lip we'd probably let it fly but we wouldn't necessarily let it fly from a from a stranger and it's really easy to to kind of get lost without the context I yeah. think con- context is king 